It's summertime in central Virginia, and that means time for some outdoor activities, and some of them actually help out some great causes. Today we're going to tell you about the Innsbruck Classic benefiting St. Joseph's Villa, and we're very excited to have a very special guest in studio with us today. Yvonne Nelson, Executive Director of the Innsbruck Foundation, is here. Good to see you again, Yvonne. Good to see you, Bill. And David Huffine is Director of Development, St. Joseph's Villa. Great to be with you, Bill. Good to see you. St. Joseph's Villa is growing, improving all the time. We're going to hear a lot about that in just a moment. But first, I want to start with the actual golf tournament. And let's talk about that a little bit. How many times have you done uh, this golf tournament? Um, Is this the first one or the 50th one (laughs) or somewhere in between? (laughs) We'd like to think we will make it to 50. Uh, You know, once upon a time, uh, the Innsbruck Foundation had their own golf tournament Mm -hmm. and St. Joseph's Villa had theirs and some wise folks got together and they decided hey let's pull our efforts Uh, we love working with St. Joseph's Villa so this is the eighth year I believe that the Innsbruck Foundation and St. Joseph's Villa have uh, partnered to do the Innsbruck uh, Golf Classic and we're just so excited that like you said it benefits a great cause you know, it's one thing to spend a day in the office out on the golf, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. range. But then to be able to have it benefit uh, a good cause is, is just a wonderful perk. Okay, let's talk about when the tournament is so we can save the date and, yes. and go with that. Monday, June 6th, okay. coming up very soon. So, you know, take a Monday off. June, yeah, go and call in sick now. <laughs> I call in very healthy and happy to be helping uh, now. Uh, where is the actual uh, tournament played? It's at the Country Club of Virginia's Tuckahoe Creek Course. Ooh, nice. Yeah, yeah which is on Gaskins Road, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. The format for this, I'm, I've got a program here. It's the uh, Scramble Shotgun Style Start. Yes. And people that play golf know what that means. I imagine they do. <laughs> Neither one of us, obviously, do. All right. It starts early in the morning, obviously. It's in June. And we're hoping it's going to be nice and warm for that. So about an 8.30 start, to about 8.30 to almost 10 o'clock in the morning, people will be going off, right? That's right. There's lots of prizes. First place team will own the Innsbruck Cup for another year, and each player will receive additional prizes. But we're not doing it for the prizes. We're doing it to help out a great cause, and uh, that sends us over to David. Tell us a little bit, because uh, people have driven by St. Joseph's Villa and seen construction underway now for several years. And I know there were some huge changes made, uh, not only with the buildings, but how you drove around the buildings, too. That's right, Bill. Uh, St. Joseph's Villa has been uh, in operation for 182 years wow. this year. That makes it the longest serving nonprofit for children in the country, mm. right here in Richmond, Virginia. But we, throughout all of those years, have continuously changed to keep up with the needs of uh, changing needs of children and families in our community. And that means keeping our campus in alignment with those changing needs. Uh, so we have a, a 82 acre campus there at the corner of Brook and Parham Roads. And uh, many people drive by and we invite them to drive in and check us out. Yeah. So you can just come in and, and go to the office and say, I'd like to visit or look around? We'd be happy to have visitors. Uh, the villa doesn't exist without uh, partnerships with friends in the community. That uh, sustains us. And so we are always happy to have visitors to come in and learn more about us. The architecture there of some of those older buildings is just breathtaking and beautiful. And uh, when things were getting underway there with construction, we were moving the roads away from some of those buildings for reasons that, first of all, the roads, the original roads were kind of thin because back then cars were much smaller. And the other one was uh, to kind of get heavy traffic away from some of those older buildings. You're right, Bill. Uh, That was a community effort. We had a campaign that funded that project. Uh, The Villa Campus that we are on today opened in 1931. Mm -hmm. And the road system, if you can imagine what a car looked like in 1931. (laughs) About a third uh, the size of the ones that are now out there. Yes, and maybe a busy day was three cars on (laughs) campus in a day. But we learned that we had uh, over 450 cars and trucks and buses on uh, trying to occupy that same road system. So several years ago, we made a major a commitment to redevelop the campus, which included developing a perimeter road to take traffic away from the center of campus and then use the 
the main road, which went down the middle, to become a pedestrian avenue. Mm -hmm. A lot of the kids that we serve have transition issues, maybe mobility issues, and so having them a safe, therapeutic environment in which they can move about campus including the roadways and sidewalks, is an important part of our mission. That kind of leads me to what I wanted to ask you next, actually, is about the people that you serve at St. Joseph's Villa. A hundred and however many years ago it was, it literally was an orphanage. It's a slightly different arrangement now. You said change with the times. Exactly how are children brought in and under what conditions now? That's right. Our history was as an orphanage and as a school. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the 1970s, the need for the orphan uh, care, you know, kind of dropped off. And so we came in with uh, new services to provide for emerging issues that children were having. Uh, Autism was a big one. We've been serving autism for over 30 years. That's before it was a house, autism was a household name. Mm-hmm. Um, we also have uh, services for homelessness, homeless families. We uh, rehouse families, and we have an excellent um, rate of uh, continuing to have them in their home. And we have also an increasing number of services for mental illness for children and youth. Obviously, the needs change as time goes on, and you have to adapt to make it 180 plus years. This is something that you've done, and do you see a trend now that in the last, say, five years that has changed from where it was five years ago? Speaking to our programs for autism, society is seeing a huge change in the awareness of autism the best practices in treating autism and the knowledge about how to be effective and in the alarming rate of increase in incidence of autism. In recent years, we have increased the number of services that we provide for autism, which includes um, a uh, after-school and summer program, um, which is actually what this golf tournament specifically supports, but includes a school as well as in-home care for clients. We've also begun to uh, offer some services to adults with autism and developmental disabilities. Wow, that is a big change. The Innsbruck Classic benefits St. Joseph's Villa, and that's the reason we have our two very special guests, Yvonne. Back over to you real quick. Uh, How can folks sign up for the golf tournament, and who can sign up for the golf tournament? Any group of people can. We have a lot of corporate teams, you know, foursomes, but actually you Bring your buddies, make a foursome, and we will find a spot for you. We are looking for teams. We're looking for sponsors for the golf tournament. And I don't know if I mentioned the little prize of a Maserati. What? Yeah, for the hole-in-one. I mean, if you really have skills, bring them, you know, (laughs) to the Inspired Golf Classic. (laughs) Hole-in-one, the winner is a Maserati? Maserati. And by the way, I'm going to putt for you. Uh-huh. On, I think it's the 14th hole, yeah. and Greg McQuaid from CBS 6 yep. will be out there driving for you on the third hole, yep. and I won't say who has skills and who doesn't, but we're, <laughs> we're both so enthusiastic to help out. But yeah, there's a lot of great well, prizes, and anyone can sign up, Bill. And by the way, they asked me to come out and golf, and I said, well, I haven't golfed in 30 years, and I was terrible then, so probably <laughs> not. <laughs> but um, I'll be there in spirit with you, awesome. uh, and uh, so excited about this. Uh, so if folks want to sign up, how do they actually do that? They can really contact St. Joseph's Villa, and they will direct them. And um, I think Courtney Elliott is your prime contact at mm-hmm. St. That's Joseph's. That's right. Her phone number is 804-200-1617. Okay. 200-1617. That's an easy If you'd like more information. Yeah. I might add that um, the Maserati is there, and it's provided by the Page Auto Group, which is our uh, lead sponsor for the great um, corporate for the tournament. Yeah, They've been page. great friends to the yeah. villa for uh, many years. Yeah. And so I don't really get to drive the Maserati, but I get to stand around it a lot and look like I could. All right. <laughs> David, I don't think they'll let any of us drive the Maserati. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's a Maserati. We weren't meant to drive it, but somebody may. Well, if you can uh, drive a golf ball, you'll be able to drive oh, it. Oh, <laughs> there she go. Look what she did there. All right. So we got prizes here. Uh, first place team. 
Uh, we'll own the uh, cup, as we mentioned. Uh, there are other prizes as well, too, right? Yes. Uh, there are all kinds of gifts that uh, they have put together, anything from, I think, an umbrella and, you know, the wonderful cups you have to take. And just what we try to do is put prizes together that you would need when you're golfing or any time, mm-hmm. you know, at the office. Um, and so it's it's a fun day. I think the best part, of course, uh, is what you heard David so eloquently explain, the reason why we're out there. But it's not bad to stand under a sunny sky. And we've had some great weather over the last few years. Mm -hmm. And just enjoy yourself out in the sun. We have um, a grilled lunch. Um, at CCV uh, Tuckahoe Creek Course, and then a wonderful uh, sort of after the day uh, little reception with some uh, fun hors d'oeuvres and things like that. So and it's just, and then we sit around, we stand around and talk and watch the video of what we've done all day and <laughs> yeah, have some fun. Yeah, it is. It it's really a, is a great, a great day. cause too. Innsbruck Classic benefited the St. Joseph's Villa, generously sponsored by the Page Auto Group, group and we want to thank them for their support. The Country Club of Virginia Tuckahoe Creek Course. And our very special guest, Yvonne Nelson, Executive Director of Innsbruck Foundation, and David Huffine, Director of Development, St. Joseph's Villa. Take about 30 seconds and give us some closing thoughts on this golf tournament or the villa or anything at all that you'd like to do. And I'll let you go first, Yvonne. Okay, you know, in Innsbruck, we put on a lot of events. But part of our mission is to inspire or encourage, uh, encourage philanthropy. Uh, we engage people and bring them together, and we are constantly enhancing the Innsbruck brand, and this is the like, sort of the perfect uh, trifecta of all that. And so I think that in our community, that speaks to our citizens. We love it when we can have a great time and it benefits people right here in our community. And I think that's the really big message is, is the, the funds aren't going somewhere else. Right here, St. Joseph's Villa in our community, and it's a great way to just extend your arm out to those in need and have a great time. St. Joseph's Villa would be a beautiful museum. But it's um, much more beautiful as as a working place to help families and children. Tell us a little bit more about that, David. Thank you, Bill. I think I'll talk about the specific families and children that this tournament will benefit. When a family finds that it has a child with a developmental disability, it can be very um, distressing, disruptive to the family integrity. And uh, they're looking for somebody to help. St. Joseph's Villa is one of the places that they can come to to receive that help. The day support program serves um, children in, from ages 6 to 22, and it is providing therapy and recreation. It provides communication skills, socialization, which is so important, and what we call community integration, which is children learning how to be more appropriate in the community so that they can function better in the community. Uh, that's good for the community. That's good for their quality of life and their um, their long-term health and their ability to to give themselves self-care will improve their lives um, forever, Work, working with them when they're young um, so they can have more hopeful futures. It obviously is a, a big, big factor in helping our community, and we thank you for uh, spending some time with us this morning and letting us know about this. Thank you both very much. Thank you, Bill. Thank and both. again, if you'd like to know anything about the Innsbruck Classic or St. Joseph's Villa, let's get a website out here real quick. Have we got one? Yeah, sure. www.innsbruck.com. That's our Focus Richmond for Sunday morning. www.innsbruck.com.